We're about to take you inside one of WA's most important offices. The St John State Operations Centre is the hub for every emergency call for an ambulance in the state. Daniel Donnelly has this exclusive inside look. It's the phone call that could be the difference between life and death. Ambulance, what's the address of your emergency? Every time someone makes a triple zero call for an ambulance in WA, it comes through to this office. Car accident. OK, how many vehicles involved? Last financial year, more than half a million calls were made to the State Operations Centre. More than 170,000 of those were triple zero calls. The community we serve is certainly getting a much better service now than it was getting a number of years ago. St John Management came under fire in 2009 after claims that poor organisation led to the deaths of some patients. Part of the fallout was a call for a computerised system that prioritises emergency calls. That has since arrived. The system prompts staff in the operations centre to ask callers specific questions which determines the urgency of the situation. Uh, prior to that, uh, the, the call takers uh, had to make those judgments and assess Every second counts when an emergency call comes through. The first thing staff need to establish is the location. Uh, without a location, uh, we can't send an ambulance. And that really does cause us probably the most, uh, often causes the most problems because a lot of people don't actually know where they are. Then the information is passed on to dispatch. Uh, we will be allocating uh, and identifying which is the closest crew to a, to a job or the most appropriate crew for, for, for the circumstances. While triple zero callers are still on the line to staff in the operations centre, an ambulance has already been dispatched. For St John staff, everything revolves around response times. The ambulance service aims to respond to 90% of Priority 1 life-threatening calls within 15 minutes. The target for Priority 2 calls, 25 minutes, while Priority 3 is under an hour. It could be a cyclone up north, it could be a bushfire down south, uh, it, could be, uh, it could be a plane crash uh, or any, 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 anything in between. The service is calling on the public to learn first aid, even providing defibrillators around the state so lives can be saved before the ambulance even arrives. In any emergency, it's all about time. And if you can get somebody trained with a defibrillator to somebody within a few minutes from the time of the call, we can save that person's life. Daniel Donnelly, 10 Eyewitness News.